Hello and welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am a DT and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you. Because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. And so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. Going to do three shuffles and a cut. It's been a minute since we've done that. Three shuffles and a cut. Okay. All right. So. King of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Temperance. Ooh, lots of blue. Talk your shit. Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Heart and throat. Heart and throat. Lots of throat. Wow. Actually, yeah, there's a lot of heart too. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about this abundance here. Because what I'm getting is that there is a lot of resistance as it pertains to believing that you are worthy of abundance. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that spirit grows weary of convincing us of our own worth or of telling us about our own worth and then us not believing it. Eight of Wands. messages so many messages about worthiness and a lot of the time and I, I really believe that this has a lot to do with how this world runs Mm. What if, what if everything that you have come to believe about how this place runs is a lie? And the only reason why it takes shape is because enough people believe it and deem it to be so. Like yesterday's reading, we were talking about as a man thinketh, so is he. If you don't believe that you are worthy of abundance, well, it really doesn't matter what spirit tells you because you know what? You ain't. Fuck it. If you ain't got time, then you, you, ain't, you ain't got time. Right? And it's, there are times when the lack mentality oh come on spirit there are times when that lack mentality is disguised as keeping the balance in the world we believe that we have to suffer in order to receive a blessing we believe that we have to go without in order to appreciate what we have And then there are times when, you know, okay, so we did that, right? We, we, we bought that line of thinking and we carried it out. We materialized it, right? Let's just, let's just, let's just fast forward to what is, okay? Let's say we, we materialize that, right? Who's to say? What if your time, what if your time of lack is over? And you're getting messages from on high telling you that, hey, 
this this is you're done with this you're actually here and the reason why you feel like you are losing out is because you're getting come on because you're getting rid of stuff that wasn't going to do you no good no way what if your higher self is trying to tell you that don't worry about what's not here don't try and hang on to some shit because it's comfortable don't try and hold on to something because it's all you know because what you don't know what you don't know is so much greater what you don't know is that you should be here and not here queen of cups chariot six of cups four of cups knight of cups and nine of pentacles what you don't know what you what you don't know is so much greater than what you do I mean, I'm I, I can see it here like with the Queen of Cups she helps she helps us to to see the value in some of the smallest things now my eye is being drawn to this bead that she's making here but look she's stringing each individual bead and making all of these strings because she sees where one may see a daunting task of stringing all the beads she sees this gorgeous piece of jewelry that with a little time and a little patience and a skilled hand can turn into something that will be passed on for years to come a working piece of art that will be passed on for years to come The chariot is here. The chariot is here for um, big transportation. Uh, you ever see one of those, um, like Disneyland has a people mover and it's basically uh, a monorail that can take you from one world to the next uh, without you having to walk, right? Or uh, one of those high speed trains or even, you know what, a car. All right it's gonna get you from point A to point B a whole lot faster with some help than you would have been able to get to on your own you may not have even made it if it weren't for the chariot also with the chariot um, it's gonna go the way that it needs to go not necessarily the way that you want it to trust the process because where this chariot stops is where you're supposed to be. The Six of Cups, um, enjoy the view as you're being transported. Take a moment to enjoy the countryside that you don't have to work to see. Enjoy the various amounts of meats and cheeses on the train. Why not? Because your transportation is taken care of. Your movement is handled. Okay. Um, my brother used to say, let Jesse rob this train when, you know, it was something that he needed to there was something that he was taking care of, right? Let me do it, I got this, let me handle it. Let Jesse rob this train. Six of Cups, just sit back and relax, okay? Because you have no hand in this transformation. Focus on, focus on stringing the beads, yeah? And with the Four of Cups here, 
Um, again, the hangover card. Oh, God bless the hangover card. This is also the card of doing too much and not recognizing Spirit's hand in what it is that you're doing. Could it be because you want to drive the chariot? Could it be because you just want to go to the local craft store and buy the beads instead of taking the time to go through and make the necklace? There's, there's, I, I'm, I'm, there's something about meditation in there. Uh, yeah, that is definitely a meditative act. There's, there's, mm -hmm. the Knight of Cups. I see it. Okay. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. I'm not reading just for me. Okay. Um, getting caught up in the transportation, where you're going to go, the end result that there is a glossing over of the process. Thank you, spirit. There's a glossing over of the process. Um, take the time. Take the time. I can't stress this enough. Take the time to talk to spirit while this transformation is being taken, while this transformation is happening. While you are in the train and you are enjoying the various meats and cheeses, take the time to have communication with the conductor so that you have peace of mind while you are not running the show. Peace of mind, Knight of Cups, while you are not running the show. Because this peace of mind is going to blossom into, this going, peace of mind is going to blossom into something where you are actually going to have your hand in something. See, this meditative process here is actually leading to this nine of pentacles down here, looking good, feeling good. You know that inner glow that people will talk about? Oh my gosh, you're just glowing. Uh, when you're just glowing, it's because you're in lockstep and you are vapor locked with spirit. And so the inner glow just shines right through. Yeah. And yes, I'm saying this in, you know, the, the, the sarcastic voice, but like real talk, that's exactly what this boils down to a lot of the times. If you look at the times when your life was great, I'm talking great by your standards now. How was your prayer life at that time? Were you talking to spirit? Were you showing, were you showing gratitude when this inner glow was happening? Where were you in proximity to your alignment with your purpose? My guess is you were pretty freaking close. Magician. I These are the cards, people. The magician, you got everything you need to do what it is that you need to do with the hermit. Don't squirrel this away. Don't hide away and, 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 and then not do anything with this golden opportunity. Six of Pentacles, you are brought here and you are in this position to be able to share it. And I'm not talking about sharing what you got. I'm talking about sharing the overflow to be a blessing to someone else who is currently going through lack nine of wands the tower and the two of swords because there are people who are still going through this right you may still be in the throes of this with the nine of wands and the tower and the two of swords but this magician here is letting me know that you are in the best position to be able to navigate this dipshittery that is coming towards you because you're being tested. This proximity of being in line 
with your purpose this nine of pentacles here looking good feeling good smelling good you really think you really think that opposition is not going to come up against this whether it is with people that you feel like you need to step away with or your darn self either not believing that you are who you are or getting way too cocky about the skills that you possess and then you wind up squandering them or hiding them away mm. the empress the devil five of pentacles the world the levels and the king of swords this self-sabotaging loneliness i'm so lonely so lonely so lonely i'm really alone that that shit you've you've come you have reached the end of your time of solitude you have reached the end of your time of separation okay it's time to go back outside you've got the world card here you have learned everything that you were going to learn in the separation time five of pentacles You've learned everything that you were going to learn in this time of great trial with the devil, right? The Empress is here. Creation is here. And she is here in between all of these three cards of completion, choice, and truth. and strife and loneliness you can choose to stay in the strife and loneliness if you want if that's what if that's what would get your goat but there's so there's more out here you got a graduation to attend your graduation to attend you have some new choices to make here with the lovers card and you also have a new position of leadership here for you. And if you have been in a position where you've had leadership that left a lot to be desired, now you get to show as an example the kind of leader that you actually want to be. Three of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups, High Priestess, Three of Pentacles, nice, and the Six of Swords. You're going to come across the people that you are meant to be around. It is going to be beneficial for you as far as your resources you'll be able to pull resources and have them grow this is new for you because you spent a good portion of your recent history separated from people and sometimes i'm pretty sure you felt separated from source too because i'm feeling a whole lot of what is the point why are we even talking about this why do I find myself waking up every day with more questions than answers? Because this is new. That's why. This is new. This is a new way of you relating with yourself. This is a new way of how you're going to relate with others. This is a whole new way of you learning how to trust with something as close to you as your own resources mm -hmm. and because you are being guided by spirit 
with the high priestess to congregate with this new group of people, right? It's going to take you to a place, Six of Swords, it's going to take you to a place that will provide you with peace of mind. And when was the last time you had that? Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. I knew you were going to show up. Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups. When was the last time you had peace of mind? I talk about peace of mind and the Ten of Wands shows up. Blinded by the pain. When I asked that question, my mind did a quick scan of my life. And even though hindsight is 2020, and I know that there are times in my life where I could have had some peace of mind, I also know the metric ton of worry that I have carried on my back for all of my adult life. So much so that I literally thought that this was just what a, being an adult is comprised of. Worry, strife, stress, and that's it. Carrying this, carrying this burden for so long that you become blind to it, right? learning how to make things from the scraps becomes commonplace feeling the the need to be defensive with everyone and everything and not letting anybody in all men are dogs all women are gold diggers you can't trust anybody i have trust issues all this unhealed, all this unhealed stuff that relates to how you relate to the outside world, right? All of this stuff here um, becomes commonplace. And you forget that in the midst of your pain that you asked for relief, okay? It could be you asked, like, God, when am I going to have to not worry about my money? When am I going to have to not have to worry about whether or not I'm going to make it? And then you've got the Ten of Swords here, basically letting you know that the hard part is over. Hard part's over twice with the physical pain and the mental pain the ten of wands and the ten of swords you are so much stronger than you give yourself credit for look at what you have endured and i don't want to blow your whole mind and let you know that this all this this shit here was a fucking choice the working to do, learning how to work without having to defend on all sides from everything, all of this physical pain and all of this mental pain. This, this was a culmination of decisions that you have made that led up to this moment. And now you've decided, now that you've asked, when am I going to have to not have to worry about this shit? When you said that, the universe has now conspired to make it a real thing. And now you have an opportunity to walk away from all of this pain that you have invested so much into. You've invested so much that you think this is fine. This ain't fine. Because if it was fine, your story would have ended here. And there's the King of Cups.
showing you just how much you have grown through all of this, providing you Ace of Wands with a renewed sense of passion and love and appreciation for where you are with the moon with more secrets to come. You don't get to know everything. You don't need to know everything. What you need to know is to where to put your foot next. Page of Wands. Again, enjoy the transition. Dig into the science of it. Okay? Be in the moment. Because our lives are just a series of moments. And some of these moments change everything. The two of pentacles, you're going to, you're, you're going to have to be light of foot. You're going to have to learn how to juggle. There's no going around it. Going from what you're used to, to what spirit has for you. And I promise you that they are very, very different. You're going to have to learn how to keep your head above water as your world spins all around you with the nine of cups because the way that it's looking you will find peace you will have peace and i don't mean peace in some distant ass future i'm talking about peace in your lifetime real peace look at how long these look at these how tall these trees are how lush the trees are you see the deer and the fish this is, this is a long time coming. This was a lot of work. At one point, all of these trees were seeds. And now they tower stories above everything. Having a beautiful relationship with the atmosphere around them reaching up to the sun as the sun reaches down to them providing shelter food and shade for the for the animals on land and nutrients for the animals in the sea but it had to start somewhere And I guarantee you with the deforestation, ooh, with the deforestation that is going on in the world, with the way that man has come in and tried to take over and tell mother nature where she can go and what she can do with her creation, with her creation here with the Empress. And how Mother Nature has to come and fight back and say, uh -uh -uh. you are the guest in my home. Hmm. One moment. So instead of coming into my place and telling me how to arrange my furniture, why don't you enjoy, take the time to enjoy my hospitality and you will see that it is more than adequate. Death, two of cups, Ten of Cups, Ooh. Knight of Wands, look at you, okay. Five of Cups, and the Eight of Swords to round us out. Let's look at that. Yes, this is the time to get over yourself. This is the time to, yeah, this is the time to get over yourself or release those parts of you that um, 
that are no longer beneficial. And grow the pieces of you that have sat dormant for so long. Because there's so much happiness that comes as a result of this. Once this part of you is shed, there's so much happiness that's going to come from this. Um, you do understand that knowing that there's going to be a journey here about that. There's, there's going to be, notice the crossroads here again. There's going to be a journey. Um, and that there's work involved. But that's fine because you're taking out the trash with the Five of Cups. And part of that, part of that trash that you're choosing to get rid of are your own limitations on how you think things should be. This is about going back and actually trusting spirit and not just saying that you're going to trust spirit but like actually walking the walk and being uncomfortable with not knowing all of the inner workings that go into it the knight of wands here the knight of wands has their marching orders and that's it and so they carry out these marching orders without any concern for what the bigger picture is. Now, sometimes that can be interpreted as blind loyalty. Um, but as I'm seeing it, especially as a part of this layer of this spread, what I'm seeing is doing your part. And your part in all of this is to go and clean your house five of cups be thankful for what was show honor to what used to be and move forward understanding where you hold yourself back and releasing yourself so that you can enjoy this long standing happiness that spirit wants for you. And spirit doesn't want you to have it alone. You're not meant to be a one person island. The time to do that has already come and gone. Okay. Well, thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.